All right, Pisces. This is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with Taurus. Pisces dealing with Taurus for the beginning of January, for the first half of January, for Pisces dealing with Taurus, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the Most High. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, the ones who are dealing with the Taurus placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Nodes. So keep in mind, if you have a Pisces, Venus, dealing with the Taurus moon, this reading could resonate with you. All right. So let's get some messages. Single jumping cards only will be taken in this reading. Spirit, you already know how we roll. All right. So let's see. What do we got for Pisces dealing with Taurus for the first part of January? For the first half of January, 2023. Messages for Pisces dealing with Taurus. Keep in mind that this could be a message for you. This could be a message for Taurus. Energy goes both ways, guys. All right, so um, you think someone is lying? They are. Have you eaten? <laughs> you are acting like a big-ass ba baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. So I don't know if someone here is hangry. All right. Um, either you think that Taurus is lying or Taurus may feel like you're lying. Spirit is saying if you feel like they are, they probably are. All right, don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some time alone. And you know why, okay? So maybe you need to take a step back from some people or maybe Taurus is stepping back from you, Pisces. Let's see. Um, that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. So Spirit is saying whatever, whatever project, idea, person, whatever it is that you've been uh, thinking about taking action towards, that idea, that project, uh, the world has your back, so get after it. So now we're going to move on to the Hidden Truth Oracle. Then we'll go to the Andromeda Skies love messages. Um, keep in mind that these messages may not resonate with every single person out there. So take what fits, leave the rest. Does not mean that the rest of the tarot reading will not resonate with you. So stay tuned. And then we'll close it out with a few romance angels at the end. All right. So messages, please, for Pisces dealing with Taurus, first half of January. What messages do we have from the Hidden Truth Oracle? So first one out, I am afraid to contact you. So either you're afraid to contact this Taurus or this Taurus is afraid to contact you, Pisces. I want to feel that way again. I will wait for a sign from you. And I know that I crossed the line with you. So either you cross the line with this Taurus, this Taurus may have crossed the line with you. However, whoever crossed the line, I feel like is afraid to contact the other one. They may be waiting on a sign, waiting to hear from you or waiting for, you know, that sign to reach out. Someone here definitely wants to feel that way again, whatever that way is. <clears throat> so let's, oh, bottom of the deck. Sorry, I want you. Yeah, so some either you want this Taurus still or this Taurus wants you. You guys are in no contact. All right, so let's get four cards from the Andromeda Skies. Spirit, what messages do you have from the Andromeda Skies Oracle deck, please? For Pisces dealing with Taurus. First, oh my gosh, first half of January. I will find my way back to you one day, so. And there is so much I want to tell you. I can see myself with you in the future. And one more. Uh, reminiscing. Wow. You got someone who's like definitely still thinking about you, reminiscing about the connection you guys have, or just thinking about you. I still have growing to do. Someone here maybe still, you know, maybe still has some type of growing to do, some lessons to learn some things to handle in their life. I can see myself with you in the future. There's so much that I want to tell you. So either you want to tell this Taurus so much or this Taurus wants to tell you so, so much, okay? Either way, um, you feel like you guys will find your way back to one another. Or this is how Taurus feels. Um, all right, so let's jump on into the tarot reading. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome here into this reading for Pisces dealing with Taurus, okay? 
First card out is going to be for Pisces, overall energy spirit. Single gender cards only will be taken in my reading. Second card out is for Taurus. Pisces, I will read you on this side, Taurus on this side. However, the roles can always be reversed. So flip it, switch it according to your situation. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Okay, so let's see. Pisces dealing with Taurus. Overall energy, please, for Pisces. Thank you. Overall energy for Taurus. All right. Empress, Taurus, Libra, and energy. And release coming out. Five of Pentacles. Scorpio energy. All right, Pisces. So you may be sitting in a very abundant energy at this time. You may have a lot of growth around you. You could be very fertile at this time. You could be a mother. You could be pregnant. For some of you, not for all of you. Time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects that will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity, in which we also have over here. That project, that I, that person, that idea is waiting for you. The world has your back. So whatever it is, this is a very fertile time for you, Pisces. So whatever, this is almost like the Midas test. You can turn anything into, you know, gold, anything into what, whatever it is that you want. You're very fertile, very creative. So go ahead and create, Pisces. Taurus is in this release energy as their overall energy, Scorpio energy. They may have Scorpio placements, endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations and people that hold you back, and a spiritual transformation. So I don't know if Taurus is going through some type of a major change, uh, letting go, releasing people, places, and things that no longer serve them, going through some type of an ending here. This is a major uh, transformation in life. Okay. Show me Pisces emotions, please. The ones dealing with a Taurus. Sorry, I just realized that that was like all up in your way. All right, show me Pisces emotions. What's going on with Pisces emotions, please, Spirit? The ones dealing with a Taurus. Two cards I'm not going to take. Pisces emotions. Seven of Swords coming out sideways. Um, so Seven of Swords in your emotions. Y'all may be like coming off a little bit deceptive. This is, to me is giving me the energy of like hiding your emotions, not really... Uh, not really expressing them, kind of keeping them to yourself. Seven of Swords, the loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss, make sure you're being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. So you may also feel like someone is deceptive in your energy. And that could be why, you know, in your emotion sector, you have the Seven of Swords. For most of you guys, I feel like this is you trying to keep your emotions to yourself. The Empress is in complete control of her emotions. If the Empress is having a bad day, you probably wouldn't know it. Show me Taurus's emotions. So it could be coming off to others as being a little bit deceptive. However, I don't feel like you're being deceptive. I just feel like you're you're keeping some things to yourself. You're not showing stuff on us and on the surface. All right. So the world card for Taurus and their emotions. They're going through some type of a major ending in their life with this world card. The world also talks about a success, a joyful time, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energy, um, a brilliant success, a time of a joyful accomplishment, a spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want and be proud of yourself. The world card can also speak about travel, doing things on the world wide web. I don't necessarily feel that. Um, I feel that this is more so like some type of a major release, some type of a major cycle is coming to a close here whether that's with you or with someone else or with something else in their life. This is also a lot of spiritual enlightenment. Um, both of these cards can symbolize that. 
So this is like a major, major transformation. I feel within oneself. Show me Pisces next move, please, when dealing with the Taurus. This is like gaining some type of an understanding, a higher awareness that some things need to be let go of in order to be successful. Okay. So, all right. Show me Pisces next move. Eight of Cups. Yeah. So again, Pisces, you're walking away from something emotionally. You're staying in your power, though, with this Empress card. Eight of Cups. Your next move. Yeah, you're walking away from a situation emotionally. The need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities and leaving home. So, <clears throat> Pisces. You're, you're not, you're, <laughs> this is kind of cool. This is like, you're in your power, Empress. Uh, she did kind of come out a little bit sideways, I guess, in the beginning. I don't know. I'd have to rewind it, but. Mm. So something here may have kind of made you feel a little off balance, but overall, I don't feel like you're losing your grip here. I feel like you're keeping things to yourself. I don't know if there were some things that came out or um, just some something here that you've. This is almost like maybe you even felt like you were losing control of yourself or you know, the empress, your stability, your fertility. It's like something here may have been throwing you off. I just heard pH. Someone, someone, okay. S someone's pH could be off. Um, hmm, embarrassing secrets. Anyways, all right. Well, let me just keep going. Um, yeah, I feel like you're walking away from something emotionally and you're not really showing how it's kind of affecting you on the inside. But I feel like you felt like something was pulling away from uh, your Empress energy. Something was making you feel off balance or you felt like something wasn't in alignment or wasn't in sync with you. And I feel like you pulled away and I, and I don't feel like you're really like expressing how it's making you feel. You're just kind of moving away and like protecting your own energy, choosing to uh, pick yourself back up. It's like, uh, I feel like I'm not making sense, but I know what I'm trying to say. Um, I hope you guys understand. <laughs> um, you could be someone, you could be a business owner, you know, have a lot of nice things around you, good mother, good parent, good spouse. You know, very intelligent, very loving, very witty, very creative, very sharp, very abundant. Okay, it could be all these things, but there was something that was throwing you off. All right. <clears throat> so let's see, what is Taurus? What is Taurus's next move? Four pentacles. So Taurus is holding back. They could be trying to work on their finances. Managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give and receive money, time, or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white, and being charitable. The Four of Pentacles. So this person may be uh, being conservative at this time, holding back from people, places, and things, trying to release situations, people, places, and things um, in order to have some type of, you know, success in their life. They could also be saving paying off some things, working towards, uh, this is also managing the budget, you know, so. All right, so let's see, what is Pisces intentions, please? What is Pisces intentions? When dealing with a Taurus. Three of Cups, wanting to show itself. Pisces Intentions, Awakening, Pisces Energy. So you could be feeling a little bit stuck, stagnant. Things could be feeling paused. Your intentions here, though, is to go through some type of an awakening yourself 
or this is what you probably are doing. You realize some things. You may have, you know, thought some things through, paused, reflected on some things and realized that something was, I'm, I just heard out of character, taking you out of character, possibly, or taking you out of your, your empress energy. <clears throat> So you may be sitting back, reflecting on some things, thinking about some things. Your next move, though, is you're walking away from a situation emotionally. And I feel like you're not really, uh, you're not really expressing why. This is more something that you're, you're internalizing. Okay, a temporary pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you can see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness and charitable actions. So let's see what Tor what is Taurus's intentions, please. I feel like you pulled back from something um, that you may have been uh, contributing to, or uh, yeah. All right, show me Taurus's intentions. Again, with I still have growing to do. Maybe you were dealing with someone who. Um, had either people, places, or just situations in their life that they're realizing that they need to release. And you could have realized that this, whatever they had going on was kind of pulling you. It was taking from you, not adding towards you. And I feel like the good thing about this is I feel like Taurus may even have, they may be under the understanding of this as well. And they're holding back as well, trying to, trying to get on your level, I guess. Okay. Show me Taurus's intentions. What is Taurus's intentions, please, spirit? What is Taurus's intentions, please? Ten of swords wanting to show itself. So yeah, they're success. Okay. So they may have gone through some type. The Ten of Swords is their intentions. It's like putting an end to things. It could be a little bit painful. It could be brutal. All right. It's brutal out here. <laughs> if any of you guys know that song. But um, Six of Wands, they, they want success in their life. They want some type of victory. Their intentions is to be, you know, recognized, um, having some type of victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, or scholarships. Like I said, the world card is also success, okay? Um, achievements. So like I said, this person is also, they want things to be, they want things to go better in their life. So I feel like they're in the process of pulling back their energy, trying to manage things more, more wisely, releasing certain things that could hold them back in order to gain some type of achievement or success. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Taurus, please, for the first week, uh, or for the first half, excuse me. For the first half of January. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Taurus. Y'all hit that like button if this reading is resonating with you. Helps me out a lot and it helps this message get to others who need to view it. Okay, so outcome between Pisces and Taurus for the first half. Five cards. Hmm. Four of Swords. Three more. Two more. Ace of Swords. And Six of Swords. So there's those Ten Swords still coming out. So, all right, Queen of Swords. The outcome between the two of you for the first half of January, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. 
This is making a head over heart decision, taking your emotions off the table like I was seeing up here. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations and people that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorced or unmarried individuals. Okay, so I don't know if this is a separation between the two of you or just a separation between, again, people, places and things. I feel like I've said that a hundred times in this reading. Um, Four of Swords. Going within, resting, meditating, uh, healing, trying to rejuvenate. Insights that come from meditation, the need to rest and take a vacation. Allow yourself more uh, time before making a decision, mental exhaustion, and get more sleep uh, with the Four of Swords here. So uh, I feel like there's going to be a break, a pause between the two. This is a head over heart decision. I don't necessarily see there's no emotions out here at all. So I don't know how you two are connected to one another. But I, I also feel like this is like this is making head over heart decisions between the two of you. This Ace of Swords is like clarity, um, truth, a revelation. It's a breakthrough. OK, brilliant ideas that need that may need refinement, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out, communicate clearly and concisely and remain objective with this ace of swords in the center. It's like, um, it's like there's clarity here that something here needs to, there's a fine line that is being drawn. Okay. Going within, realizing that there's a break, a pause, a disconnect that's needed. Even if, uh, it's being logical, okay? Putting in that work. Learning all you can about a subject or career with the Eight of Pentacles. Going back to school, taking a seminar, finding a mentor, attention to detail and skilled work that you love. So someone may be focused on their career, on their work, on their craft. Why not we quit? And Six of Swords, moving away to calmer waters. Okay, moving away to a more peaceful place. The storm is in the background. So it's like someone that's trying to move out of some type of situation that could have, you know, like a storm, turbulence, before it turned in, you know, it's like instead of heading into a storm, it's like I'm moving away from the storm. The end of challenging times, things looking up, a welcoming relief and finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of depression and illness and travel and relocation. So... Again, I feel like you two may be kind of distancing yourself from one another. Get down, Luna. Sorry, guys. All right, so let's go to the Romance Angels and see what spirit. Anything else for Pisces dealing with Taurus? So for the first half of January, guys, I feel like you guys may be disconnecting from one another in order to, like, uh bring balance back into a situation if this is romantic i'm not quite sure i see you guys kind of walking away from your emotions more focused on logical things uh trying to like fix outside uh influences in this situation whether that's your work your friends your love you know family career uh just shit that's going on in your life i see there's like some type of a disconnect but it's for the best I do see that someone here may be reminiscing and saying, I will find my way back to you one day. So it's like someone here is realizing like now is not the right time. Someone still has some growing to do, some things to, to uh, work on. All right. Anything from the Romance Angel Spirit? I kind of feel like this is the wrong deck to use for this uh So we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. It came out in the reverse. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Take that as you want. I'm grabbing a different deck that I feel more suitable. So all in the golden afternoon, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. So all in the golden afternoon and forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. So um, not living in past experiences, breaking free of um, uh, what's the right word? Breaking free of um, 
don't know, breaking free of things that are holding you back, finding that creative spark. That could be you, Pisces, trying to find your creative spark. Because I feel like something may have kind of started to throw you. But you caught it. Whoever this is on this side, this person caught it. I, I believe. Strange encounters. So, yeah. I don't know if this is some type of strange encounter you had with someone or what. But this was kind of an interesting read. I feel like whoever, the, whoever you two are... Um, There's some type of a connection here. Somebody may have crossed the line. Somebody could have lied or wasn't quite honest or. Uh, someone's trying to like. Whatever they're doing, I feel like it was kind of caught head on or in the beginning stages of something. And both y'all fell back in order to like come back. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, fell back in order to, like, fix something and do something the right way is what I'm getting. Okay. I don't know if this is someone who you work with because you have the three of pentacles and eight of pentacles showing up. Um, or this is someone you know from work or someone you are just working together or getting to know. Either way, I feel like there's some type of a breakthrough that's going to happen here. But I feel like both y'all had to detach, move away from, from one another for now. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. If this reading resonates, let me know. Smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.